Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Improvisation. Today we're on the piano and we're going to be doing a blues improv where the right hand improvises on the blues scale. I'll play that for you. I will have the notes of that scale up on the screen for easy reference. The thing to think about when you do this is that you learn it as a scale but you don't want to play it as a scale. You want to look at it as these are the notes I can use and you want to add as much color and rhythmic variety as possible. Also moving those notes up and down from middle C up and back as often as possible is also a really good way to keep things interesting. In the left hand we're not going to be doing a simple 1-4-5 chord progression. We're going to be doing an arpeggiated 1-4-5 chord progression. And the rhythm for this will be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Put the counting up on the screen for you. One more time. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... 2 and 3 and 4 and... Alright, now again we're going to be doing that in the lower octave. I feel like it sounds better against everything else that's higher. And again, we're going to be doing a 1-4-5, so we're doing that rhythm from C, F, and then finally G. Back to F, and then C. Alright, so now you know all the parts. I'm going to show you a demonstration of what can be done. Here we go. Alright guys, now as you can see, I'm moving around a lot in the right hand, keeping the left hand basically static as a foundation. So some of the things you can think about when you're improvising in the right hand, you want to know your notes really well. You want to be able to highlight them with your eyes so that you don't even really have to look down when you're playing them. The blue scale's got a, a very nice kind of diagonal vibe to it, the, the C blues specifically. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play up the scale, down the scale. Another thing we can do is we can do like interval, interval uh, like, like kind of like power chords in a way. You could do like root fifth, root fourth, root third, even root minor seven there, flat seven. Doing things in one octave and repeating them in another like is a really cool thing to do also to spice things up. Moving up the octave gives it a fresh feel. So I'm just gonna run through a little bit more here for you and we'll see where this goes. guys there you have it a one four five in C in the style of the blues with an arpeggiated semi walking bass vibe in the left hand I hope you guys learned a little bit about theory I hope you maybe saw some stuff that you could utilize in your own playing the one thing I gotta say is that this is way harder to pull off than it looks 
The piano is an amazing instrument in the sense that you really need to have full control over both sides of your brain at the same time. Playing this rhythm on autopilot while you come up with unplanned and incredibly jagged rhythms in the right hand. Doing it all at once is very tricky. But if you work at it enough and try it at a slow speed, you should get it. And it's very satisfying. I hope you've all learned something. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.